Hello and welcome to another video. I will be showing you how to farm level 45 regular Vega. And this is useful if you want to get the blueprint for the Apocryphy Cruiser or if you want to get a good amount of points in a riot. It, it, I've done the riot over Christmas recently this way. It wasn't terribly hard. It took me about 24 hours of uh, gameplay. If you have a tag that's a decent alternative to just fighting level 27 fleets on the planet's surface. But what you want to do is you're going to have a fleet set up like this and you're going to give them one new order in the beginning. You're going to have them turn to the right. And that's important. Now on mobile, you're going to be following ship 6 here instead of uh, ships 4 and 1. And the PC, you're, you're clicking in the middle. And mobile, you're kind of following ship 6. Now... PC, it's a right click to make them strafe, and you're going to want to make them strafe, okay? On mobile, all you do to make them strafe is you click in the same spot that you did to make ship 6 move, so you, you click right, oh, tap right here, rather. Once you get those destroyed, you're going to change it back to a move order, which you're going to click in that spot again, and you're going to make them strafe, and you want to line up these strafing lines with their targeting arcs. For each ship so so this ship you want to go straight down its targeting arc okay now that'll be just fast enough to outrun these dread battleships and this one's got quite a long range if he if he starts shooting at your ship there he might take the shields down and it won't be a free repair you want a free repair this is easy to do on the mobile it might take you a couple of tries to get it right but i was i was doing it on my phone all christmas long hanging out with the relatives Okay, so it's definitely possible. Did it on the road trip down there from my phone and a bumpy car ride. It, it's okay. You can do this. Alright, especially if you have a tablet or something bigger than a tiny phone. Now, their move order might run out. You might need to click uh, or tap again. What you do on mobile is once you have it set to strafe, you can click anywhere else except for the same spot that you did to make them strafe to make them continue strafing in some other direction if you need them. Um, or in the same direction if you want to do it th further down. But that's all the commands that you need to give this fleet during combat. Now let me show you the fittings and, and how long it takes to repair and, and all that. It should be instant, like I said. Here we are on the repair screen, and as you can see it's a free repair. All you do is repair that right there. Manny from Manny Gaming has something similar except for he uses a revelation cruiser here and he he manually controls it to move all around that's really hard to do on mobile you have to split the fleet up and, and to target to target different ships on mobile you might make the ships move the wrong way by accident because maybe there's some lag and a glitch and the touchscreen doesn't want to accept commands all the time perfectly and you want some more room for error here, so I'm, I'm giving you this option. Um, it's also lower tech. You only need Venoms and a Rancor battleship, okay? So here's the tech that you need. Shock Shield 4. Now this is needed for the Rancor. That's the lowest level um, shield that you can put on this thing. You can put Deflector 5 on here also, but you'd have to ditch the weapons probably and the optics. You, you don't need the weapons, really. What's important is that you have enough armor. And I use Tritanium 4 and Tritanium 3. If you want to know what I have for weapons, it's a Disruptor 4, 4 times, and Focus Optics 1. This isn't needed. You could you could get rid of the Armored Hold 1 and use that mass for more armor. Okay, that that's not needed. You could put more armor on here instead of having this Armored Hold 1. I, I think I just did that to um, increase the cargo capacity of the fleet. Uh, I don't know, I guess I'm just greedy. Okay, on to the next. The next ships are all the same, and you might have seen my siege driver fly out of this. That's not needed either. What is needed is Gladius 2 drivers. I'm probably going to make another video showing how you can farm for these, for the blueprints. Um, for now, I recommend going and watching Manny's videos. He has a fleet set up that will do that just fine. Uh, I don't know if I can figure out something better. I'm going to try to, but for now, uh, this, that's 
going to be what you have to work with to farm for those. Uh, so the shields aren't needed on these because they don't get shot, right? So you don't really need the shields. What you do need is if these are Mark III, which it's probably easier for you to get than Phase Five uh, projectiles. But if these are Mark III, you only need Phase Three projectiles. Okay, I put the Iridium Magnus III on here just to, in case a player hit it, so I can shoot back at them and they, they wouldn't outrun the, the projectiles. But I got Titanium V and Titanium IV armor on here. Again, that's not necessary because these shouldn't be getting hit. Uh, what is necessary is the weapons and the phased, phased projectiles 3 with the Mark III. Or, if you don't have Mark III and you do have phased projectiles 5, you can use those. That works just fine. But all of those are the same. And what you wanted to use for the formation is the chicane formation. Okay, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's the chicane formation. And that's all that you need to know for that. Uh, like I said, I'll try, try to come out with another video on how you farm for the equipment that you need there. But that's all, and have fun.